It's a sunny Sunday here in Reading, Broad Street, and I'm with abstract artist Street Arts Rock. Welcome to Reading. Yeah. Thank you. And you're doing some pictures for the Reading Fringe Festival. Yep. How many pictures are you going to create for us? Five. Five images, and they're all original pieces yeah. of art. All done, yep. Exactly, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Now, how can people find your artwork? Because you're bringing art to the to the individual, to the public, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. The um, easiest way is to track us on Twitter. What's your Twitter address? Street Art Drop. Brilliant. One word, yeah. Mm -hmm. Track us, I upload the picture, then it's, it's yours to go and find. Really? Okay. Okay, so they've got five pictures anywhere in, in Reading today, yeah. today only. Yes. And it's going to be an original piece of work. Yeah. Wow. And can you just tell me a bit about your inspirations? Uh, I just, with art, I just want to bring, bring art outside. Not in a gallery, I just want to sort of bring it and bring other people involved in it. And it's good. And in the Twitter and the, the um, social media, it's good to bring it all out. For... Wonderful. So it's kind of making it more accessible to everyone and bringing it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not in a gallery, hidden away. You can bring it out, you can pick and take it off. And it's all quite organic, though, because galleries sometimes can be a little, little bit stale, yeah, you know. Right. Yeah, you can't speak, you can't do anything. Right. Not with me, we're loud. <laughs> it's okay to be loud, it's okay yeah, to yeah, be yeah. brilliant. Okay, so if you want to find a piece of artwork, go onto Twitter at Street Art Drop and find all the clues and locate the artwork, upload the picture and it's yours.